Hi, my beautiful Pisces. What's up, you guys? Happy birthday, my beautiful Pisces. Anybody who's celebrating a birthday on March 5th, 2023, better late than never. Happy birthday, you guys, okay? So you guys already know that this reading could be a couple of days in advance or a couple of days behind. Hopefully you hear this message and you're intended to, and it helps and assist you in some way, all right? So with that being said, anything you need to know is in the description box below, Pisces. I am having running a special right now with personal reading, so go ahead and get on that. If you would like to email me, trustingtruetarot at gmail.com, go ahead and do so. Go ahead and hit that like button, and let's get into this reading. So Pisces, right now... I'm I'm getting this energy with this five of pentacles and this man sitting out here. Okay. I really get this energy that you are feeling like you're not getting anywhere. Yeah. Especially with this person driving. I feel like Pisces, you're feeling like you're not getting anywhere. You, it could be like, okay, I feel like I'm not getting anywhere in my life. I feel like I'm not getting anywhere in love. I feel like I'm just not getting anywhere in regards to my finances. Why are things not moving for me? Why are things going in this direction? So you feel like things are not moving in the direction that you want to. You feel very helpless. Some of you guys are feeling this state of victimhood. You feel like you have, um, it's like, you know, uh, you feel like you're lacking something. Like you have the, in it's an inability. You don't feel like you, um, like, it's weird. Like for some of you guys, it's like, um, you feel like you're you're being left out from something, like you're not achieving something. You're feeling left out in the cold. You may feel like you're lacking something um, or say if you want to participate in something or you want to move towards something, you just kind of feel like you, you're, not, you're not being able to propel in a certain direction. It's weird. Like, oh, it's just almost like this energy of like, I just keep hearing I'm not getting where I want to go. I'm not getting where I want to go. It's a scarcity mindset. And honestly, the way you're coming towards yourself is your is the nine of wands. So you guys are being very hard on yourself right now. So some of you guys are really being hard on yourself um, in regards to what you lack right now. So whatever achievements, um, uh, maybe in love, romance, where you're going, where you're headed, where you're not going, where you're not headed. Like you're really being very hard on yourself. Um, what, what you don't see yourself doing right now or where you don't see yourself going, you know, you just don't see yourself moving ahead somewhere. So you're really, really being hard, being harsh on yourself, being hard on yourself. And yeah, that's not really good. I do kind of really feel like you need to know Pisces that, um, what's coming towards you in regards to this energy also has a lot to do with you being very like, um, there's this harsh energy in regards, like there's this harsh energy on you. Like you may be very harsh on life, harsh on yourself, harsh on, harsh on your circumstances or situations here. Okay. So what I'm seeing Pisces also is that there's an energy of like self-sabotage. Like I feel like you are self-sabotaging yourself and you need to know that. I feel like you don't understand that, um, because of you being overly guarded and overly like, you know, overly harsh on a situation that you end up like, you know, blocking something moving forward for you. So I'm going to give an example. If I say that, um, like if I say, if I, if I manifest that things are going well in my life and I'm moving in the right direction that I need to go. And then I turn around and I say to someone else, uh, you know, that I'm talking to the next day, things don't never go the way I want it to. Then you literally just sabotaged everything. And that's literally the end of this reading. That's what you're doing. Okay. So if you don't understand what you're doing, that's what you're doing. So you literally just said that you literally just affirmed that my life is going great and everything is moving the way I want. And then you started having a conversation with someone like the seven of swords. You started like speaking to yourself or saying something out loud, like nothing, uh, Nothing is going the way that I want them to. You literally just self-sabotage right there. That's what's going on. That's what happened. And that's you being harsh on yourself. That's you being harsh on your life, harsh on your circumstances. You get what I'm saying? So that's what is happening for some of you guys. And that's why you feel like you're not getting anywhere. You're literally not getting anywhere because you're self-sabotaging, because you're being so harsh on yourself and being harsh on your situations and circumstances that you, you don't even realize that you're doing it. Like you're doing, you're literally 
freaking don't even realize that you're actually sabotaging yourself in the direction that you want to move in. Okay. So spirit is saying that you need to be aware of this. You need to be aware that you ultimately are the captain of the ship. You need to be aware that you're driving the fucking car. You're in the, the freaking driver's seat or you're the, like you're, you choose to be the passenger. And when you choose to be the passenger, that's when you self-sabotage and you do exactly what I'm saying you're doing. You can affirm all day that my life is going great and it's going well according to high plan. And then you can turn around and start screaming at someone and saying, um, why, I don't even know why I go through things. Like, why do things happen? Like, and it's like, you end up being so harsh and you don't even realize that you do this. You are doing this. Wow. It's so weird. Like, I feel like some of you guys may have been unaware that you are choosing to be the passenger. You are choosing to be the passenger of of your own, like, life, Okay. So you really need to be aware of how you're saying things and when you're saying things and uh, how and now you know how it's affecting you. It's, it's making everything that you desire in life to move in the wrong direction, in the, in the opposite direction of what the heck you desire it to. All right, so I hope this helped and assist you guys in some way. Mwah.